Hi, welcome to Making It Artisan Stories. We're here today with Jen Horn and her one-time designs creations. Hi, Jen. Can you tell us a little about yourself? I have a wonderful husband that does this with me. His name is Andy. And my biggest cheerleader, my daughter Maddie, who is six. I do started this with my husband at the end of 2020 as a kind of a COVID hobby. And it just started with some basic woodworking, and it's advanced from there. I really love the look of resin, and I've always loved it, and I've always wanted to learn how to do it. So once I started learning how to use power tools and do basic woodworking, I decided to try adding this to it, too. These are so beautiful. They they look like... Thank you. <laughs> you bring the ocean into the house with you and, and don't have to worry about cleaning it up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Had you done anything artistic before this? Anything creative? I did a little painting uh, before my daughter was born. Very basic, like, folk artsy type of painting. Oh, that's... Never been good at drawing. Uh-huh. That's why, you know... The flowy art of resin appealed to me because you know you don't have to be able to like draw or paint necessarily to be able to do it well to to be a creator in general and an artist you, it's not just one medium or, or one style it's, true. it's so many different things that that really are because they're beautiful i i think they're art yep. so these are just a couple of examples of some of the beautiful works that you do can you tell us a little bit about how how the process goes and, and what materials that you use? We use mostly hardwoods because mm -hmm. they're durable and they last a long time. They won't, you know, crack and bend as easily as some of the softer woods do. This board here and this board are both teak wood. Really pretty, tropical wood, very durable. Mm -hmm. Some of the boards we cut ourselves, um, such as this one here. That's gorgeous um, with the whale tail. Yeah. I really love that one. We have a CNC machine that Andy uses to cut out shapes, mm -hmm. and that's how we did that board. We have our river boards back there, which require a little bit more time. You need to cut the wood, put it in the mold, do a few pours, do a lot of sanding, some planing, but the result is really nice <laughs> it is it's really really gorgeous now this is all food safe quality right yes we use food safe resin um we also use food safe oils for the boards that's great so that they're not strictly decorative you can actually bring out the the snacks bring out yep. bring out the the, the boots yep <laughs> uh, there's all sorts of ways that people can can order these different things right what are some of the different kinds of objects that you've been creating for people well like you said boots so i've made a custom boot rack and a That's coat, coat rack and side table to go with it i've made several custom coat racks ocean ones river ones when I was first starting out, my dad had asked me to make him like a fly tying station oh, with uh -huh. a river. Uh -huh. um, that was one of my first projects. I've made a few clocks, oh. some ocean clocks, and some key racks for smaller gifts, mm -hmm. coasters, little trinket dishes, all sorts of stuff. So <laughs> Lazy Susans. Um, we have our round boards here that I can put uh, Lazy Susan hardware on the back of and make Lazy Susans with them. And what's the biggest thing that you've ever done? The biggest thing is a coffee table. <laughs> and about how approximately how big was that? Two feet by four feet. So that's pretty substantial. Yeah. Yeah. That's... That doesn't fit in our planer, so we have to plane that by hand. <laughs> well, custom orders, you know, sometimes they can take a little extra yep. work. People can order different kinds of woods. Yep. And you also do engravings. We do. Um, my husband works the laser engraver. And what are some of the different kinds of, of things that people can get engraved on them? Um, we can do pretty much any image um, that you want to send us. We have a whole bunch of designs that we've created that people can choose from. Um, but we've also had plenty of people reach out to us wanting something specific, like somebody wanted a board with butterflies on it. So we did a board with butterflies on it, and 
pretty much any any image you can think up. Yeah. Uh-huh. We can we can do it. Oh, well, that sounds like it's basically unlimited to the potential of what somebody could get for somebody for a gift or for an anniversary. Very or personalized, yeah. First to commemorate some kind of special event. One thing we've gotten a lot of, um, a lot of people have gotten boards to use on their boats, ah. and they want the boat name inscribed on them. And we've seen some pretty creative uh, boat names yeah. <laughs> that have made us laugh. Well, that sounds like it would be the perfect accessory for a boat. Yeah. Uh, it, would, it would really be the, the icing on the cake to bring yeah. out the cake on one of these. Yeah. What's like the most enjoyable thing about doing this craft for you? It always feels good when I hear that little cha-ching from the Etsy app <laughs> <laughs> to see if someone bought something. What did they buy? And it's, it feels really cool that people want to want the stuff that I make. Showing real appreciation. As far as the the process goes, the most satisfying part is definitely blowing out the waves. Yeah, although that's when the magic happens. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the fun part. Yeah, I can almost like picture fish in there swimming around. It really is so beautifully done. I have done. done a few actually where I've used. Um, we have a cricket, and I you know can cut out like animal shapes uh-huh. i've done turtles stingrays a dolphin a mermaid oh wow um and i've done so i've done a board with like with like a swim some swimming turtles and some swing swimming stingrays in them too and those the people like those too yeah that sounds like they go fantastically at a craft fair on the beach somewhere yeah. <laughs> have you done craft fairs i have not however we do have one coming up Yes, and well, I definitely plan on doing more going forward. But since, you know, since we started this in COVID, it's been a little a little tricky with doing finding in-person the, shows the, yeah, and the stuff. Way in but the now, world, that we're, uh, yeah. now that we're coming out of it, we plan on doing some more shows. Well, these are, like, incredible. I'm sure that they'll catch everyone's eye. I hope so. Because <laughs> they're, they're, they're really stunning. And this one doesn't seem to have the, the, the same kind of finish on it. We can do what's called a flood coat. Mm-hmm. which is just a, a coat of clear resin over the top of it mm-hmm. if you want that really shiny look. We've done that on some boards. We've done that on some tables. And that'll just give, like, a nice, smooth, shiny surface. Almost like glass on top yep. of it then. That's really Yeah, these, nice. the river boards usually have more of a matte finish unless I get mm-hmm. a, a special order for... For a flood coated board, just because um, once it's flood coated, we can't engrave it. Do you know about pr- approximately how many of these you have sold since you started? About four hundred. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so th- this is all online. Is it yep. multiple sites that you have them um, listed on? We were selling um, between Etsy and our own website, mm-hmm. um, but we streamlined it so our sales are mostly just through Etsy. Um, but if we did have a local customer that wanted to buy, didn't want to ship it, wanted to pick it up, they can certainly do that by contacting us too. So how long would it take you to do a custom piece for somebody? So it depends obviously on the size of the board. Mm -hmm. Um, ocean boards are quicker. This one? Something like this. Um, I would say probably about a week as long as I didn't have any other, you know, Uh any other projects ahead of it. Normally our processing times for custom boards like this are one to two weeks. And is it any longer, like if it's a Lazy Susan? I put the hardware on the back, but it doesn't take too long to do that, so maybe an extra day. And the custom cut ones? Custom cut ones would take probably a little bit longer because there's a lot of, you know, sanding involved in those too because once you cut out the shapes, you have to sand everything, make sure it's super smooth, and maybe more towards two weeks for for one of those. And your big coffee table? (laughs) That would be... Probably more like a couple months, <laughs> uh, so depending on our workload uh-huh. at the time, you know. You've got to order those early. Yeah, this is not a full time thing for us. We uh-huh. do this um, on the side, so. And you do it where? Um, in our home, mm-hmm. in our basement mostly. <laughs> Sometimes in the garage. Did your husband already happen to have some of these tools already? Uh... He did. He did, but we definitely. Um, bought some new stuff and upgraded some of the stuff that we had. Mm-hmm. We had, you know, a, a little dinky travel 
I don't know, travel portable table saw that we upgraded pretty pretty quickly after uh, I'm sure he after was happy starting about that though <laughs> uh, upgrading tools that's yeah. always a good yeah. thing yeah bought some new saws and a planer and a jointer and all all of this equipment well while it sounds like a major investment it also sounds like something that will also be used for other projects oh yeah the house. definitely so definitely it's, it's not just a single kind of investment yeah in this approximately how much would you have to pay for like the the pigments and the the resins resins are not cheap the last time i bought it a two gallon kit was about a hundred dollars okay so yeah yeah that's, and the pigments are, are about Fifteen dollars for a small. Yeah, bottle. because this these yeah. they're beautiful pigments. I can see they've got some sparkle yeah. in them, and yeah. uh, and the the color of the blue is just really really deep and the intense. The brand that we mostly and... use is a brand called Eye Candy. And oh. it's just so so vibrant, so shimmery. Yeah, like I've really... tried all other brands, and they're like my favorite. And yeah, every they, time they come out in. with a new, especially a new blue color, mm. I always go out and get it. Um, just to try it and have it so yeah the materials are not cheap yeah, it's, it's an investment up front yes that and the cost of wood of course to... is not cheap as uh, yes, this is... <laughs> in covid times yeah <laughs> yeah yeah some things yeah. have really kind of gone through the roof but uh yeah, these just are i mean they would make such a, a great present that you know people would know that you love them if we you have, gave them one of these we have several repeat customers we have one yeah. customer in brooklyn that's bought i think want to say about eight lazy oh. susans from us and she's you know tells everybody they're my go-to gift for any kind of bridal shower or anything like that um we had one customer last christmas order like maybe six or eight of them for all of her her husband's colleagues like uh, uh -huh. and everyone you know everyone we've heard opens them up and they're just their eyes light up. They're so excited to see. Oh them, so. yeah, I mean it would that be amazing. That makes me feel really good. <laughs> it's like opening up a box and there's a surprise. It's the ocean right there in front of you. Yeah. That always makes me feel really good to hear that. Do you ever think about maybe going on to do something that's maybe more of like a, a 3D art with these? That's you know really strictly just decoration. I've considered it. I've done some some um, pieces that are purely decoration. I have uh, a customer in Manhattan that had a small ish area on her wall that she needed a wall hanging for so i made a custom wall hanging for her oh that sounds great yeah yeah i know about manhattan spacing yes very, very small <laughs> she me, limited yeah. spot she sent me a picture of the space and was like what can you do for me for this and you know i i sent her some sketches and some proofs and she was very happy with the end result. I'm sure that that's like her happy spot now. Oh, you know, yeah. She'd be able to come in from the hectic world and just sit there with a cup of tea and oh, just yeah. look at like your indoor ocean yeah. right there on your wall. <laughs> that would just be wonderful. Well, actually, that one was not an ocean one. That was a river one. Uh, I well, should have said that, but even still. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. A river running it's like down a wall. like an icy blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds magical. Yeah. So there's basically a whole lot of potential for, oh, yeah. for you to expand what you're doing. Yeah, I have made um, an ocean side table. I had the table and I poured the ocean on it. I, I like imagine. to do more of those too. Yeah, I mean, it would just be to like have that right by your front door. So yep. when people came right in and just, just to see that, yep. that would just, just be just a it's something. It's thing. something different that you, you don't see every day. Yeah, they're very unique. Yeah. yeah, they're very unique. And just the way that the blending of the wood element with the water element, if you put a candle on it, blew around near it you'd have all four elements right there <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it it really is just amazing how life like you know how how realistic this water looks i Thank mean you. it really does look like you took a picture of the ocean <laughs> and put it on there but then when you look closer and you see the layers that are there and the the glitter the depth of the, of everything it's just i mean they're just gorgeous Thank they you really so much. are <laughs> i think anybody would be proud to own one of your works thank you in the future they can look for you um at craft fairs and on your website yep um our website is onetimedesignshop.com and still on Etsy? Yep. There's a direct link to our Etsy store on our website um, and more on Facebook. If you search, we're always posting new projects that we've done, custom boards, you know, gives you a little inspiration for 
your personalization for your board that you want. Yes, I, I saw you have a different hardware for some of the trays that yep. you can put on. You can yep. customize different. These type of boards, of... Um, a lot of people like to put handles on them. We mm -hmm. offer several different types of handles, four different types of metal handles, depending on what color scheme you're looking for. And we also do lucite handles, which oh. are like a clear. Mm -hmm. So you, they're not as obvious looking. So yep. you mm -hmm. see more of the ocean through them. So basically you can get a custom wood with a custom engraving with the custom placement of, yep. the, of the waves and, yep. and custom handles. Yep. So you could really go to town making yeah. these exactly and, and even, you, you know, we have so many different colors of pigments. If you wanted like a darker ocean or a very aqua colored ocean, mm, we can, tropical. yep, we can do all sorts of different and um, You could engrave shades. a little palm tree. Yep. And, uh, you know. <laughs> We've done a lot of palm trees. Just fabulous for a beach house somewhere. Yes, just... that's another one we get a lot. A lot of boats and a lot of beach houses. Well, I mean, it's it's the perfect decor, <laughs> so you couldn't go wrong. Yeah. How much do they weigh? Well, something like this would be anywhere from five to seven pounds, depending on type of wood, whether or not it has handles. So very nice and sturdy. Yes, very. You pick it up and you're you think this doesn't feel flimsy. Yeah. Try to use high quality. Yeah wood yeah, so very, that they don't very solid you know, pieces yeah 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 they're just so beautiful thank you and can they get hanging hardware too can yeah. they just order it to be a wall piece yep we have um d-rings that we can put on the back mm -hmm. that they can use them for hanging we use those on our coat racks and any wall hangings clocks any of that so if you wanted to order one strictly for a wall hanging we could do that for you you could even maybe get an etching of, of your dog running along the water, yeah. maybe as a memorial. If, yeah, because so many dogs just absolutely love to play along the surf. On the beach, yep. That's or a good a, idea. A little puppy running along. Yeah. So many things that you could do, and it seems like so many different stories that could be told around these. Yes. When someone comes up with a very, a very customized idea, and they'll tell me, you know, why. Like, someone wanted the board with butterflies, and they said it was for a friend of theirs, and butterflies were a very important symbol to her. That made me feel good to be able to, to do that. Somebody who ordered a board for a, a wedding that was on 9-11 um, of last year, mm -hmm. and the one of the, I think it was the groom, was in the military. Oh. So they wanted the engraving to be, like, 9-11 with the the 11 like the twin towers like you see on the symbol mm -hmm. and doing something like that is is unique i mean a custom gift for somebody like that it's it's you know it's going to be a one-of-a-kind thing you mm -hmm. know so it's one-of-a-kind designs or one-time yeah. designs <laughs> it's just a great idea and I'm, I'm so glad that you've been having a lot of success with it here's our assistant assistant helper and main cheerleader this is my maddie I've made her a wall hanging with an ocean and a mermaid on it. I've made her a side table for her bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. The other night, I made her a little ice rink out of resin for her toys to play hockey on, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because one-time design, you know, one time is a, is a hockey term. Oh, so my yeah. husband kind of came up with it. We're a hockey family, and that's why oh. there's a there's a hockey puck in our logo. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you play hockey with your with your? He likes to play street hockey with her dad, right? Yeah. It's always good to have a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to my husband who really got all of this started. He's the one that you know started the woodworking and taught me how to use all the tools and. He's the one that suggested doing the ocean boards because I started with the river boards and the ocean boards were a little intimidating for me at first. He kept encouraging me to do it. And the first one I made sold in like an hour. That's and then I said, really I, I think I've results. got something here. And so yeah. he, he keeps reminding me that the ocean was all his idea. I have to give credit where credit is due. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he's my biggest cheerleader too. And without him, I couldn't do this because um, one of the, one of the big things we offer is the engravings and mm -hmm. I don't know how to use that machine or that <laughs> computer program. Literally without him, I would not be doing this. Well, there are so many things that we can create that just go so much better when we work with someone yep. rather than try and do yep. everything ourselves. And we're definitely a team. And it's good, like family activity too. Yeah, so yeah. 
it's it's you know it's a bonding experience for the whole family yeah. you know he was the one that suggested doing the whale tail boards he's like oh this is something different why don't well, we do this gr- and work together with great this idea. And, yeah well thanks for joining us here at uh, making it artisan stories and we hope to see you next time bye <laughs> well, you want to wave bye to the camera for us? Wave, wave goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>